Hi, I'm Julianne Cost. In the next few minutes, we're going to be taking a quick tour of Lightroom Classic in order to familiarize ourselves with the module picker, panels, and tools which will help us to quickly move through our workflow. We'll start in the library module, which is where we import our images, and also where we can organize and manage our library of photographs. On the left side of the screen, we can use the panels to navigate as well as view all of the photographs in our catalog, and we can organize our images into folders and collections, as well as publish them to many online services. In the center are a number of different filters, which make finding images quick and easy. Below that is a preview area where we'll see our photographs once we've imported them. At the bottom of the preview area is a toolbar with several tools that provide different ways to view and sort images. There's also a drop-down menu that has additional tools. On the right-hand side, we have additional panels for viewing the histogram, which is a visual representation of the image that we'll be referencing when making edits to our photograph. We can make quick develop edits, add keywords and metadata, and view comments when sharing images. At the bottom of the screen is a film strip. As soon as we import some images, the film strip will display the photos in the folder or the collection that we're viewing. After we've organized our images in a library module, we can use the module picker to move to the other modules. When I select the develop module, we can see that the panels display different options, specifically designed to help us enhance our photographs. When we move from module to module, we'll be able to select different images using the film strip. When we're finished editing our photos in the develop module, we may want to use the photo menu in order to continue editing our images in Photoshop, or we can use the file menu to export a photo. If we have a lot of photos to export, we can return to the library and select the images and again use the file menu or click on the export button to export our files. We can also move to one of the output modules to see our photos on a map, make a book, create a slideshow, print our photographs, or create a web gallery. All of these features and more will be covered in more depth in additional videos, so let's get started.